Hey, so today, I had a little excitement. Um, way too loud. Hold on. Okay. I can hear myself think again. Um, I had a little excitement. I, I uh, went out for my dad's birthday. We just went to Red Lobster. It's like almost on my way home anyway. Um, but he brought my set of speakers, 2.1, and they're kind of old. I got them in 2007. Not in the best shape, but they worked. Um, and I, I don't know, I guess they got damaged in traveling or something. I, I plugged them in to a surge protector. And about a second or two later, I saw a bright flash of <laughs> electrical fire. And then the second one. And so I panicked <laughs> and ran away. And a few seconds later I unplugged it, but it didn't matter. At least the circuit breaker worked, so I mean, unplugging it was pointless. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the wire was completely fried off from the subwoofer, so... Add that to my list of things I need to buy, slash what to buy, and cannot afford. A little more about my apartment. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's, um... I mean, there's a house pretty far back from the road, and then there's a garage to the side of it, not connected. And then even farther back, there's my apartment. It's another a third little building also not connected so it's strange but obviously this has been a residence uh, and a good residence for a long time it's going good so far I got the curtains for the front they're kind of see-through but like that's fine they look, I like how they look from the inside, so that's okay. And during the day, I can see out, but during the night, people can kind of see in. But it's alright. Look at all these worms. They're just going nuts. <laughs> And, uh, okay, let's see, uh, I'm paying the rent, of course, which is eight twenty-five a month. I'm going to pay for the electric and gas, but I haven't been able to get in touch with the company yet. Feels like I was busy all day today, and yesterday I tried to call and went through like four minutes of menus and they said oh it's not business hours right now <sighs> that's annoying like someone else should have taken care of this but whatever I guess I'll try tomorrow during lunch break I have the number saved in my contacts hopefully it's the right number <sighs> um and then Fios, which I want to try, but it's Verizon, of course, they try and make things look awesome, but they end up just price gouging you. Because I thought it was 95 for the basic TV internet phone package, which is really good, but I thought it was 95 and then I had a $5 off coupon, I was like, oh, that's awesome. Um... And they charge me six dollars a month for the high def box. Is that a scam or what? And then furthermore, as far as I could tell, they are going to jack up the price by fifteen dollars over the next month if I don't buy a Verizon wireless account for forty dollars a month. That is a great deal. However, I am locked in the middle of a two-year sprint arrangement, so I can't do it. 
And then even if I did pay the cancellation fee, then my parents would end up paying more for their service because it wouldn't be a family plan anymore. So it's just this impossible situation they've created for me to get more money out of me. And it's going to work. And then on top of that, the price is guaranteed for a year. However, sorry, staring at the worm. Um, however, what are we going to say? Yeah, go away. Get out of here. After one year, they jack up the price by like, what? I think it was $20. So I'm going to have a $15 a month increase in a month, and then a $20 increase in a year. Like, of course, I couldn't do a two-year plan, because I can't guarantee I'll stay here for more than a year. I only have to stay here for, more, for one year. It really depends how things go. I mean, the subwoofer thing, I mean, was old, it, it, it shorted out was bound to happen. I'm glad it happened and nothing got damaged. No one got hurt and the place didn't catch on fire. But, <laughs> um, it's just disheartening. Uh, and then one more thing that I'll have to pay for eventually is car insurance. Right now I'm on State Farm, but because I had an accident five years ago, almost to the day and then a really stupid accident where like I was waiting to turn right behind two cars and then I saw there was a huge gap and I saw one car go and then I pulled up right to the line I was in between the two lanes and I started turning right and I found out that this lady was like sitting in the shoulder not turning right for some reason she says that she was in front of me, but I, to this day, I do not believe it. I think she was behind me and pulled up to the side of me. But she wanted to make it look like it was my fault, and it worked. I kicked off my insurance. I ruined my... Probably ruins my credit. <sighs> Thanks. But... Kinda silly to also try and buy, um, what's it called, renter's insurance on my goods, but, goods, you know what I mean. It might be good after what happened, like, what if something shorts out and burns the place down while I'm at work? I want it to be covered, because I have a lot of stuff, expensive stuff. But I mean, if I'm getting kicked off in May, does it even make sense to get that? I don't know. I have to look into it. And this is one of the longest episodes of this I've ever. Wow, a plant. I did not see that coming. Alright, I'm going to end this here. I'll see you tomorrow.